this is my next project and we had these in the last fifth wheel we had three and we ended up using two for liquid soap and one for shampoo and I got two one for shampoo and one for liquid soap and this particular model has a holder in between each one mounted with little places to hang your razor in between or some other something so we're gonna mount that in the uh, fifth wheel shower okay to properly mount this thing you got to figure out where there's enough room first off and there's not enough room here there's not enough room here I'm pretty sure and not just the room there's enough room here but is that going to be in the way when you're turning around and showering? So, and then how high up do you mount the thing here, down here? You know, I, I would think you'd want it at a, my shoulder or higher. That way when I turn, my shoulder doesn't catch it. Uh, so, but I think this is the best place to put it right along the right side next to the soap tray here and uh, I think that's where I'm gonna put it and uh, should be out of the way from knocking over or bumping into okay sitting at the table going over the install of my soap dispenser slash holder having some coffee this uh, RV has not been on any trip yet but it sure feels good to sit here and have some coffee this early Saturday morning. So in the left side here, you take this off and in there was everything that I'm about to show you here. And it includes the label uh, for labeling what you're going to put in there, whether you're whatever country you're from. <laughs> And uh, it also has um, some adhesive, some double-sided tape, a little important notice here I'll read, um, some uh, thank you for purchasing the pro uh, product and how to get this to start flowing. It says to hold in, push in, hold your finger on the bottom. But anyway, the purpose of that is to get the liquid flowing. And then of course the mounting instructions here for various types, single, uh, double, triple, and what I have here with the basket. So first, it says to clean the wall surface to remove any soap film, rinse and allow to dry, and you do it with uh, alcohol, uh, rubbing alcohol, and that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I don't have to clean it really because it's brand new, I just use rubbing alcohol. Then it says you can't just use the double-sided tape, you have to use this or it eventually come off. And looking at the pictures, it looks like there's an option to to screw it directly in, but I'm not going to do that. I don't want to screw it. I know last time I just used these two and it held extremely well. So uh, that's it. I'm going to clean the wall and then I'm going to fix the double sided tape with the silicone and I'll show you that as I go. Okay, I've cleaned the wall with an alcohol pad and I'm going to show you where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it centered between this hole plug and that's just a screw where it's screwed into the wall and then I used a white plug and over here and aligned with the top just kind of like that more or less and I've already gotten in my shoulder is just below this it's at a good level where you could hang a razor here and uh, when I get through mounting it the little containers slide in each side so I'm going to uh, mount that with the adhesive and the double-sided tape and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done mounting it. Okay, I kind of want to show you this. Uh, I think it's important, but you can see here the little four lines going to the different areas. That's where you put this, the double-sided tape and then on the side you'll see where it says to put the silicones, which is this swirly looking shape. It says in the instructions to use the entire tube as silicone. So let me show you what I did. Here's the double sided tape with the tape removed, the backing removed so that I could put put it in place. And I put the silicone in here. Of course it's not as pretty as a picture uh, on both sides. And I think that if I try to put any more in there it's just going to squish all over the outsides. And then 
you can see there's a, a little bit more left in the tube so I think that's more than enough so I'm I can't see using the entire thing I think it might be too much as is but we will see and I will wipe off any possible excess so let me go mount this bad boy Okay, there it is on the wall mounted it says to leave it for 24 hours you, it says you can put the tubes in it but it says before you fill the tubes wait 24 hours so it is mounted I pushed in the area where the double sided tape is make sure that it doesn't fall off the double sided tape is there to help until the adhesive works so that's it and I will come back and put these in tomorrow install complete only thing left is uh, to fill the containers and uh, these are the little soap squeegee spongies whatever you call them things and I gotta put a razor for me and the wife there and uh, whatever the wife wants to put and her little special things up there so that's it that's the install of the soap and shampoo dispenser with the rack